This is going to be a short video, uh, but the title of this is Trust Nothing. What we're looking at here is my new toy. It's a uh, BNK650 tube tester I just bought, just received. And after doing some recapping on it and putting it back together and a little cleaning, I turned it on and the shorts indicator light came on with no, I wasn't testing any tubes. Plus my meter was reading, the meter on it went up scale. So after some troubleshooting and running through the entire thing, I found the problem. Now before I get to what exactly is the cause of this problem and what was going on, uh, a little bit of things about troubleshooting and a little bit about not trusting anything. Over the years I've learned from experience never to trust any component in any electronic device. Uh, I have found all kinds of things bad from tube sockets, tubes that seemed to test good, turned out that they weren't or at least they wouldn't work to you know, tube sockets being bad, anywhere from just dirty tube sockets, which is easy enough to fix, but tube sockets that have shorts, tube sockets that have brakes in them, that's hard to find, hard to see, and all kinds of problems, or leakage in them, high resistance leakage. I've had even brand new components be bad once in a, once in a while, don't happen too often, but once in a while, even name brand components sometimes can be bad right off the shelf and other components things that you might have heard that hey you know you can trust you don't have to replace uh, like your domino caps the little silver mica caps that's in the plastic cases they do go bad even ceramic caps will go bad um, they can leak they can short any cap can um, so never trust anything now when it comes down to something like this I've seen this little problem maybe a couple times before that happened with this one but let me explain something what makes the shorts indicator light work on this tube tester the shorts light actually works and the meter goes up both for leakage and shorts and it actually works on a bridge circuit that is so sensitive that even a leakage in a tube that is as much as four mega ohms of resistance internally will show up and cause the light to come on. So anything from four mega ohms and less, this light will turn on and the meter will start moving up. <clears throat> now I've got test probe connected up right here and right now earlier when I was checking it it was a little less but this is what it's reading that's 647,000 ohms or 647k which is quite a bit lower than 4 mega ohms when I first was testing this it was actually down to around 40k and since it's been open in the air like this and I've had this tore down for a while it has been getting better but I'm going to go ahead and replace the part. The part is a terminal strip. This is not ground. This is one of the terminals that does not go to ground. Nothing is connected to it and yet it is leaking at around 620 K or so. It fluctuates a little bit. Now I, the couple times I've seen terminal strips do this before they were actually fairly obvious you could look at them I've looked at this thing real close and I can't find anything wrong with it so it's internal in the insulating material and most likely it's some sort of moisture or something else that's acting in there since it's been open to the air it's been slowly I guess you say drying out but it has it was rather interesting find to go through this because I traced the entire circuit out looking 
at one point I thought maybe the transformer was bad and was shorted but when I disconnected it out of the circuit it turned out to be fine and that wasn't the problem but the point I'm trying to make here is you can run into problems that are rare but they can happen so never ever completely trust anything that's there you know terminal strips is something that are taken for a granted and granted I, I, I've messed with these things since I don't know more years than I want to admit and this only makes the third one I've ever seen like I said the first two the, the other two cases I've ever seen them they were obvious why they were doing it, it they had some ground paths that was caused by severe corrosion rust literally now this one has a corrosion on it um, it's a white yeah, I can't get it off of there now a little white dusty material this is not green it's not cadmium what this is is a very light coating of uh, galvanized uh, corrosion on here and generally that doesn't really cause this kind of a problem at least I've never experienced it and generally don't cause any problems as far as connectivity either um, but I will replace this terminal strip and I will check the others real darn close and may end up replacing all the terminal strips in this thing it uh, it's an interesting uh, little problem. One other thing never to trust is yourself. You can make mistakes. I, If I had a dollar for every mistake I ever made, I'd be rich. Um, we all make mistakes, so always double or triple check everything. And, you know, don't let it get you down. It just happens. It's We're human. We're infallible we can make mistakes so um, but just don't trust any of the components check everything uh, if you you know do a standard recap and do everything else check your resistors and replace whatever you need there and your tubes and you're still having problems then start looking for the more rare but yet problem parts including anywhere from your tube sockets to even possibly terminal strips. Uh, I want to take this time too to thank everybody who has responded and commented on the last video and uh, I'm doing fine. I haven't been on here for a while. Um, we happen to be in my house now. Um, twice a year <laughs> I go through a ritual I move everything in in the fall and move everything out in the summer because my garage is not heated. So, and I don't want to freeze. And besides that, a lot of this equipment works better if it's more room temperature, temperature. And it's a lot easier to work. And the other thing, too, is, is I got all my paints, everything else is inside. And some of those paints, cold weather is not good for um, and to that point even if you got oil based paints oil based paint can freeze don't let anyone tell you it doesn't what it does is it gels up when it gets cold enough it gets down below 18 degrees or somewhere in that range it'll start gelling the oil inside and they'll never remix so it's ruined so even oil based paints should be kept it at least above somewhere around 18 I think it is or 17 something like that so uh, and better above freezing so anyway thank you for your comments and your concerns um, we'll get back to doing uh, tube stuff here shortly I've kind of got my hands <laughs> busy on this right now but I will uh, get our video up fairly soon so until then, thank you very much. You guys are great, and I really feel like I got the best viewers on YouTube. And thank you.